Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 3, Lesson 18, Problem Set. So let's take a look at uh, the first question. Question 1 says, find the length of the line segment with endpoints 7, 2, and negative 4, 2, and explain how you arrived at your solution. When we're trying to find the length of a segment, we're really finding the space between the two points that aren't the same. Um, so when I look, look at these two coordinates, I see that this one has a 2 and this one has a 2, and they're both in the Y coordinate spot, or the second spot. They're the same, so it means it's going to be on the same straight line. So I'm going to focus in on that 7 and that negative 4, and I want to find the distance or number of jumps those two are away from each other, and that'll tell me my distance. Um, of how long this is. So I'm going to start out by drawing uh, a number line. I think that would help me out the best right now. Uh, I'm going to label it. I'm going to go 0. And I see I have to go up to 7. And I'll go one more um, just because. And I'll label uh, every other one in here. But just know that I'm counting by each tick mark is 1. And I'm going to go out the same distance the other side. Uh, 6, 4, 2. And I kind of offset those. So I did uh, you know, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8 on one side, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Just to show that, yeah, I can see opposites on there. So I'm going to start at 7. So I'll come out here to 7, and the reason why I'm starting at 7 is that's my first uh, point. I could start at negative 4 if I wanted to, but again, since these 2's are the same, I'm only looking at one specific line. Okay? Uh, two specific uh, x coordinates, the 7 and negative 4. My other one is negative 4, so there it is right there. Now I just got to find the distance between that. So I'm going to start at one of them, and I'm actually just going to count jumps all the way uh, to the negative 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So uh, find the length. It's 11, and I'm going to say units long. And I could do probably a better uh, answer statement by saying the line segment is 11 units long. The line is 11 units long. So it's a line segment, it's 11 units long. Um, another way to look at this is when you see that you have a positive 7 and a negative 4, when their difference or when they have different signs, you can add their absolute values. So the absolute value of 7 is 7, and I'm going to come down below here to get some more space. And the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. So if I add those up, it's 11. Now, if they were the same sign, uh, just for an, a quick example of this, I'll do it in green so you don't get confused. Uh, if this was 7 and this one was a positive 4, so I'd plot at 7, and I'd plot at 4, and I'm counting 1, 2, it's only 3. Okay, So I can't do the absolute value, add the absolute values. When they are the same uh, symbol, meaning a positive, both positive or both negative, you subtract the 2. So my segment for that example that I just made up would be 3 because they were both positives. Positive 7, positive 4. When they're different signs, positive 7, negative 4, you add the absolute values. But a number line is always going to help out with that. Uh, I could have turned that and done a vertical one if I wanted to, uh, but I know that uh, my numbers... We're actually going to be sitting on a horizontal number line for that, but it, it wouldn't matter if I used a vertical or a number line or a horizontal for that one. 
So now we'll take a look down at number three. And what I'm going to do is uh, slide this up just so I have that space to look at three. And I'll bring three down and I'll try to do it all uh, in different colors. So um, I'll start in uh, purple. So the length of a line segment is 13 units. One end point of the line segment is negative 3, 7. Find four points that could be the other end points of the line segment. So I feel like this works well with a coordinate plane so I can show this. So uh, I'm going to kind of half draw one in here to help out. I'm not going to do all of the spots, but I'll be able to tell you uh, how you're going to find these. Um, so if this is my X, this is my Y, I'll put in a few marks here. Um, you probably need a bigger one for this. It's just a rough one. So I'm going to do negative 3, 7. So I come over to negative 3, which is right here, and then up 7 is all the way at the top. So what I need to do now is find a way to uh, figure out an endpoint that could be uh, to make this 13 units. And I need four different points that could be the other end. So if I use what I did up in one, I need to either I need to jump either direction. I'm going to go side to side on the X here, so meaning, uh, this direction, left to right. So I start here and I could jump 13 this way to the right on the number line, or I could jump 13 to the left. So that's two points. All I'd have to do is just jump across here and know that I'm still going to be something, comma 7, because I'm staying at that 7 line up here. All I'm doing is changing this. So it's 3 to get to this point, to my y-axis. So if I take away 3 from that, I'm at 10. So another 10 that way. So it's actually going to be 10, 7 because it's 13 jumps away from that negative 3. And then I could go 13 to the left. Okay, so that's one. that's two different points I could do. Now if I went left to right, the next thought is I can then... Uh, jump from this negative 3, comma 7. I can then jump up 13. Or you can go down 13. So the coordinate plane would make this quite a bit easier when you plot negative 3, comma 7. And then you would just jump 13 to the right, 13 to the left, 13 up, and 13 down. And plot those four points. And that's going to be your segment with uh, a length of 13 units. Um, so we have one in here just by jumping. Um, 13 jumps to the right. So that's kind of what you'll do to finish off number three. I uh, hope this helps and good luck on your problem set.